Okay. Uh, not my usual format, but I ain't got no time for editing. Anyway. Um, just wanted to get this off my chest. So everyone is freaking out about this Typhoon Hagibis. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. Um, details differ, but, you know, most people say blah, blah, blah. Most powerful storm of the year. Or something scary like that. It's coming on Saturday. Um, I hear record breaking a lot. It's coming to Tokyo. So let's, let's look at it and see. Okay, see, there it is. See that this this little dot here that's Tokyo and so this is like the area the predicted area I guess and it's headed straight for us hooray all right and you know they give some figures they say the meteorological agency is talking about how big it is um, talk about heavy rain Blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is interesting. They compare it to this typhoon of 58 that left more than 1,200 people dead or missing. Isn't that fun? Yeah, well, guess what? In this, in this similar typhoon, which killed so many people, I have to go to work because I'm a photographer. Most of my shoots are on weekends, especially um, holiday weekends, which is this weekend. Um, most, most of them canceled, but there are a few selfish assholes who still want to go on with the show. All right, so here we are. They're showing us the rainfall up to 800 millimeters in Tokyo. Not sure exactly how bad that is, but it sounds really scary. Uh, they talk about the strong winds. Um, wind speeds may reach up to 144 kilometers per hour in Kanto. Now, for any of any Americans out there, that's like 89 and a half miles per hour. Okay, then they go on to say maximum gusts of 216 kilometers per hour, which is over 134 miles an hour. And actually, there's like a video attached to this article where the uh, news reporter says 250 something kilometers per hour. So, oh boy. Um, then they talk about waves, blah, blah, blah. You know, now where I live, I'm farther inland. I'm in a concrete apartment up on a hill it's not so scary but where the photo shoot is guess what it's right by Tokyo freaking Bay thank you very much and they talk about winds and high waves la di da um, yeah weather officials urging people to keep track you know look out for advisories flee to safety what does my company say? Come to work! Be careful, but come to work. Customers, God, you are nothing. Fuck you. Um, now this is just the current rainfall situation, so it's kind of on the lower scale, not much, but it's been raining pretty much all afternoon. And this is 24 hours before the actual typhoon hits. So this is, this is just precursor rain. This is just what's coming. Okay, this is the video I was talking about. It's some NHK, I think, report. Uh, you could probably find it if you Google it. They are canceling flights like crazy. Um, all these airlines are stopping. They're saying, you know, incoming flights are limited. The Shinkansen bullet trains, uh, starting from the morning, they're going to reduce the services and then suspend them completely, probably when it gets really bad. So, you know, look at that. Basically, almost all of Honshu, the main island, 
all of the main Shinkansen lines. And then, of course, rail services, which pretty much everyone depends on, including me. Um, most reports I've heard are like for JR, East Japan Railway. But in here, they also, they also list a bunch of other lines. Um, most of the major ones, maybe some of the subways will be running, but, you know, with all the rainfall that they're predicting, you know, even as good as their, you know, whatever their systems are for draining off the water, um, I've seen lesser typhoons flood subway stations because they just become inundated with the water. And this one's supposed to be record-breaking. Woohoo. All right. So, oh, well, here it says above-ground subways will probably stop. Yeah. So basically everything's going to be at a standstill. And then, you know, more about, oh, it's so dangerous. But yet, I have to go to work because customers want their precious photo shoot. Even though I'm willing to bet money because of all these limitations and delays and possible dangerous situations, people are either not going to be able to get there or they're not going to want to go out in this shit. So, yeah. I'm going to be risking my life to take someone's fucking picture. I fucking hate rich people. I fucking hate this job. God. Ugh. Oh, and if no one ever hears from me again, it's probably because I died from Typhoon Hagibis. Whatever the fuck it's called. Alright, well I gotta go. My battery's dying. Fuck my life.